I just woke up right now. Everyone's still asleep. Wow, what a nice view. We got the blue river right here. Red rocks behind us. Um, okay, so this video, we're gonna be hiking from the campgrounds at Supai to the Colorado River, which is gonna be a round trip of anywhere from 16 to 20 miles. We can't seem to find any information about exactly how far it is, but we're gonna hike, climb, and swim to get there. So, um, we all have day packs, so we're not gonna have to bring our bigger packs. So, you know, we're gonna go lighter, we're gonna go water filter, so we're only gonna bring a little bit of water so we can filter our own water as we go. All right, so I'm starting my hike right now from the campsite. Um, got my GPS going and uh, trying to count this day. We are coming from the campgrounds of Supai, going to the Colorado River, hopefully, if we make it that far. But the rule is that if we don't make it there by one and turn around. So I got my GPS going. I'm gonna head out 10 minutes before them at the camp and uh, get a shot of them coming down by Mooney Falls. We're starting our descent down to Mooney Falls. There it is right there. Sexy blue goodness. Plenty of it. Is it this way? In a minute here, I'm gonna have to put the camera away because it's too sketchy to have anything in my hands while climbing this. Um, down here. Where you at? Oh, all right. Uh, all right. Here we go. I am going to uh, turn my GoPro off now so I can focus on getting down here because I have this tunnel, then you come out, and then there's another tunnel. Actually, here, I'll keep the camera on so you can see this. It's pretty steep in here. I don't know if you can see. It's probably too dark, but it's gonna get steeper. Oh, shit. There's that. All right, here's the second little tunnel. I'm gonna put the GoPro away after this one because I'm gonna need to use both hands. And this is where I'm gonna need both hands. It's pretty much straight down and it's pretty sketchy. So, I shouldn't go for off right now. Yeah, I stopped to get another quick shot. There's a waterfall right there. This is what I came down. Up there. And this is what I'm about to go down. There's some ladders and stuff. Um, it's pretty wet right here. Everything's really slick. So, when you do come this way, you just have to be super careful. What'd you think of that climb? Ball. Let me see your hands. Oh, nice. Hey, oh. See your hands. Nice. <laughs> what did you think of that climb? Woo! That was intense. So cool. Woo! All right, we got our group. We're gonna pursue on. Oh, there's a bridge. Avatar!
Oh, nice bridge. Very fancy. Checking my GPS, we've gone 1.2 miles so far, and to our destination, uh, we should be uh, just about seven miles to go. Two miles. We've already gone two miles. Yep. There is Beaver Falls. We are 3.2 miles from the bottom of the campground, right above Mooney Falls. So 3.2 miles to uh, Beaver Falls. Four miles. We're halfway. All right, so I missed the sign, but some others saw it. Just a couple of us took a little detours um, for the last probably half mile. We are now in Grand Canyon National Park. We are not in Supai anymore. Mickey Mouse. I just checked my GPS, we've gone seven and a half miles. So that confirms it should be just around this bend and maybe a little farther. Another water crossing. Just all these rocks came from right up there. Oh. Has the same kind of shape on it. Oh yeah, this piece right here was up probably up there in that thing. Crazy. Crazy. We just passed some people that uh were rafting down the Colorado. They just passed us, they were hiking up towards Supai. And they told us we have about another 15, 20 minutes to get there. Wow, look at this. Are you guys rafting? Come from the raft? Nice. Huh. We've gone 8.3 miles now. No sign of the Colorado yet, but we have seen the rafters. A few groups of rafters that came up from the Colorado River. So I'm assuming we're getting close. This is the Colorado. We're trying to find our way down, how to get down. Can't seem to do it the proper way. And so we're going back. Looks like the trail's right there. So I'm gonna head up this way.
Look at all those fish that came out from the Colorado River. It's like trout. Can't tell though. I'm not sure on that. I like they went the wrong way if I didn't turn around back there. They're right there. Oh, I'm looking at the Colorado River right now. Let's uh, go another 50 feet before I show you. You ready for it? It's coming. You ready for it? Almost. Wow, that's awesome, but let me get a better view before I turn the camera around. You ready for it? There it goes. Let's go down a little farther. Oh man, I want to get in there. I need to get down so I can go in and find a way down. Check my GPS. 8.7 miles. I know what I'm doing. Actually, let's keep these on. Let's go home. Let's go home and watch TV. <laughs> Damn. There's a Colorado. Alright, so this is some storm clouds moving towards us. And they don't look good at all, but um uh I think we need to get out of here right now before the storm clouds come in. Because they're wrapping around, we're going this way. It doesn't look good. So checking my GPS, we are four and a half miles. Uh, we should be pretty much halfway back. And that's definitely a good sign because we beat the little storm that was coming in. Um, some clouds still up, but looks like we pretty much got out and got away from it, which is good because it started to sprinkle a little bit. And Definitely don't want to be stuck in a tight canyon like this when it's raining. So we're making super good time out of here. Oh yeah. Okay, so this update. Uh, we've gone five and a half miles. We're at Beaver Falls, which is down there. Uh, we might come back here tomorrow. But we're gonna try to get back to camp right now and eat and stuff. Um, we have about 3.2 miles left, according to my GPS, to get back to camp. And uh, it's just awesome because we beat the storm. But on our way here, there, on our way here, there's not a single cloud above us. It was a perfectly blue sky. And as soon as we got to the Colorado River, we just watched these storm clouds just barrel in. And we just knew that we had to get out. We don't want to be caught in there, anywhere in this canyon, in rain. 
Um, but uh, yeah, I also kept count of how many people were behind us and how many people we passed, just in case if we get up and for some reason it starts raining, in case I need to notify anyone. But uh, should be good. Probably about just three miles left now to camp. That's interesting. Yeah, they're right behind us. All right, so I'm looking down the canyon. We should be going around that one and back around that one. And then we should be seeing Mooney Falls, which is a big one. And from there, um, we'll probably take a dip, go swimming, cool off a little bit, and then uh, head up to our campground, which is right above Mooney Falls. And uh, check my GPS. 6.8 miles, so. So I got probably about two miles to go, a little under two miles to go, so almost back. Oh wow. Wow, look at this. Check out my GPS. I'm gonna stop my GPS. Our campsite is up at the top. So back up these. So let's see, uh, I'm gonna stop my GPS. So 8.8 .8 miles. If you want, I'll post a link or uh, actually send me an email or uh, send me a message with your email and I'll send you the track if you need to use it. Oh, cool is this? Yeah.